In this video, we're going to talk about the span of vectors. So here's the definition of a span. If vectors v1 through vp are in Rn, then the set of all linear combinations is denoted by the span of v1 through vp. So it's just the collection of all vectors of the form c1 times v1 plus c2 times v2 all the way up to cp times vp with the weight c1 through cp. So what this means is before in the previous video, we looked at, say, one example. We said that t was equal to 2 times i plus 2 times j. Well, if we have vectors i and j, then the span also includes this new vector t1, which is just i plus j. It includes t2, which is 2i plus j. And it includes all combinations of i and j, all possible combinations. So. Here we have i and j, so we have i there, and we have j there. So what does the span cover? Well, it covers all possible combinations of i and j. So we can go this many i's to the right, we can take negative i's, we can take a bunch of j's, we can go negative j, and we can do any combinations of these. So we could end up at this point here by taking i plus j, so we get that vector there, which we'll call i plus j. We can take negative 3i minus 4j and end up down here. So this is minus 3i minus 4j. We could take 1 half i plus 5j. So this is 1 half i plus 5, 5j. So that end up right there. So essentially, we can get this whole plane here. So we see a bunch of lines this way. We can get all of these spots and we can get all of the spots going this way. So essentially, the span of our vectors i and j is the whole plane, is all of R2. We can get every single spot in this whole plane with just these two vectors. So we say that the vectors i and j span all of R2. It spans the whole two-dimensional plane. So, as an example, suppose we have two vectors u and v, and we want to just list three vectors in the span. So, what is in the span? Well, the span is all combinations of u and v. So for vector 1, we could just take u plus v and get that vector. Or we could just take u. Or we could just take v. Or we could take the zero vector, since we could take zero u and zero v. Or we could take 511u plus 716v. Or we could take negative one over 10,000u, and then we could add uh, pi to the six v. And these are all different vectors that are in the span of u and v. So remember, the span covers all linear combinations of the vectors u and v, where we have the span u of v, all possible linear combinations. So here's a question. Given this matrix A and this vector B, is B in the span of A1, A2, and A3? Well, this is exactly what we did in the previous video when we said, okay, is it a linear combination of A1, A2, and A3? Because if B is in the span of A1, A2, and A3, then B is going to be a linear combination of A1, A2, and A3. So we can just make a matrix and we can solve this. So let's do just that. And we can answer the question, is B in the span? So let's get rid of that negative two at the bottom there. So we have the first two rows are going to stay the same. And we're going to get rid of the bottom. So we're going to take two. So we're going to take row three and we're going to add two of row one to it. So we're going to get negative two plus two is zero. Six plus zero is six. Three plus two times negative four is three minus eight, which is negative five. And then negative four plus eight is four. Okay, now 
Let's get rid of... Hmm, what do we want to get rid of now? Well, we're going to keep row 1 the same. And the second row, let's take row 3 and subtract 2 of row 2 from it. So we're going to keep row number 2 the same. So 6 minus 2 times 3, so 6 minus 6 is 0. Negative 5 plus 4 is negative 1. And 4 minus 2 is 2. So in this one we took uh, row 3 minus 2 row 2. Okay, so we can do some adjustments. We're going to multiply row 3 by negative 1. So I'm just going to uh, swap that real quick. So here's our solution set. We have x3 is equal to negative 2. The second line says that 3x2 minus 2x3 is equal to 1. So that means that 3x2 minus 2 times negative 2 is equal to 1. So 3x2 plus 4 is equal to 1. 3x2 is equal to negative 3, which means x2 is equal to negative 1. So it's the second part there. And the third part says that x1 minus 4x3 is equal to 4. So that's x1 is equal to 4 plus 4x3, so that's 4 minus 8, so x1 is equal to negative 4. So this means that b is in the span of a1, a2, and a3. So how do we write this out? We say that yes, b is equal to negative 4a1 minus a2 minus 2 a3. And this is the solution of how we get b from a1, a2, and a3. So b is in the span. So we say that b is an element of the span a1, a2, a3. And if you haven't seen this sign right here, this element, this just means is in the set or is in the span or is an element of the span. But more specifically, this is how we generate it. So these are spans. So here is a weird sort of conceptual question. It might seem really difficult at first and to some of you it might seem really stupidly obvious. But let's say, given vectors a1 through an, I want to show that the vector ak is in the span where k is between 1 and n. This means that this could be a2, this could be a43, this could be a1, this could be an, it could be in any of them. But we want to show that this is in the span. So how do we do this? Well, it's actually pretty simple. Here's what we do. We say, okay, I want to show that some vector b is in the span. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, this is going to be 0 a1 plus 0 a2. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to add 0 a k minus 1, but then we're going to add a k minus 1 in, or sorry, a k in there. And then we're going to add in 0 a k plus 1, and then we're going to add all the way up to 0 a n. This might seem confusing, but what we are left with is a k. So b is just a linear combination of all the vectors in the span. It just so happens that this a k here it's just one AK, that's it. So because this is a linear combination of all the vectors in the span, we know it's in the span. Therefore, AK is in the span of A1 all the way up through AN. So to make this more concrete in this example, suppose I have the vectors I and the vectors j 
Of course, we know that i is 1, 0, and j is 0, 1. And I want to say, show that i is in the span of i and j. Well, this seems a little bit weird now because what's in the span? The span is all combinations. So this will be ci plus dj. So these are all vectors are in the span. So what we do is we say, okay, well, let's pick c is equal to 1, d is equal to 0. So then we're going to get i plus 0j, which is just i. Therefore, i is in the span. Because, of course, it's just one of the vectors in the span, so of course i is in the span. This is the same argument which I have shown right above here. This random vector ak is one of the vectors that is listed in the span here, so of course it's going to be in the span. We just take zero of all the other vectors and one of ak, and then we can show that ak is in the span. So that is spans. Hopefully uh, you understand this. Um, the the main idea, all linear combinations, so let's say we had a vector that goes like that, a vector that goes like that, well clearly we can get the whole plane here because we can take any amount going in this direction and add any amount in that direction so we can hit this point, we can hit all of these points, we can hit all of these points by taking a little bit less of this vector w on the left here, and we can eventually cover the whole plane. So that is the span essentially. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I will answer them as quick as I possibly can. If this video helps you, please share it with your friends because it might help them a lot.